This entire chapter covered Lloyd's past. How do you represent loss? What does it look like to lose someone, something, yourself? What was really probably the most beautiful series of pages in this chapter is this page. This chapter is a poignant depiction of war and loss as something that's equalizing in the most horrific of ways. And it's not only made him lose his friends and his family, but his sense of self, who he is as a person. He literally loses his name. As we know, Lloyd is not his real name. He wakes up from this dream, recollecting his past, and we're left with this very peaceful scene of the dinner table. I think it becomes clear that war as a concept in the narrative of Spike's family is being presented as something that's in the past. That's something we should move beyond into instead moments of peace. 